Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be detailing the livery histories of one of Formula 1's modern powerhouses, a company which has become one of the most easily identifiable brands in modern motorsport, not only as a team sponsor, but also as a multi-championship winning team in their own right, Red Bull Racing. Red Bull's involvement in Formula 1 dates back to 1995, when it first sponsored the Sauber team. In 1999, Red Bull made its first steps to becoming a Formula 1 outfit by inaugurating its Red Bull Junior team, which competed in Formula 3000 in association with Helmut Marko. Red Bull would cross over into Formula 1 in the fall of 2004, when it purchased the fledgling Jaguar racing team from the Ford Motor Company continuing to run the team out of existing facilities at Milton Keynes, now under the Red Bull Racing banner. And so with this noteworthy purchase, the world's leading energy drink company was set to make its debut as an established Formula 1 constructor beginning in season 2005. So begins our retrospective on the highly competitive and ultra-creative Red Bull Racing Team. The RB1, Red Bull's initial challenger, came outfitted with Cosworth Power, Michelin Rubber and BP Fuels. The team's drivers for its maiden season were David Coulthard and Christian Kling, both of whom scored points at the team's debut at the 2005 Australian Grand Prix. The RB1 came primarily dressed in Red Bull's company colour of blue and featured metallic silver flourishes on the car's aerodynamical plates. Red Bull's trademark Charging Bull logo was seen on the car's nose cone and engine case reprising a trait that had previously featured on Red Bull sponsored Formula 1 liveries. The car also possessed a faint chequered flag motif, as well as red, blue and silver stripes which ran horizontally along the car, accentuating the car's aerodynamical properties. The team's sponsors during their inaugural season included Alpine Stars, Rauch, 7-Eleven and Lucasfilm Limited, which promoted its Star Wars franchise on the team's livery for the Monaco Grand Prix, ahead of the premiere of the latest film in its series, Revenge of the Sith. In September 2005, Red Bull announced its purchase of the Minardi team, which was rebranded as Scuderia Toro Rosso ahead of the 2006 season. Toro Rosso would operate as a development ground for the Red Bull senior team. Red Bull would produce the RB2 for the 2006 season, which operated with Ferrari engines and shell fuels, and was again painted primarily in dark blue. The team signed news outlet Metro as sponsors, and entered an agreement with DC Comics, which saw Red Bull cars once again promoting a feature film during the Monaco Grand Prix weekend. 2006 was also the season the team recruited Adrian Newey as chief designer. The first newly designed Red Bull car was the RB3, which ran with Renault power. Along with the switch to Renault came a change to Elf fuels. Michelin's withdrawal from Formula 1 saw the team adopting Bridgestone tyres. 2007 marked the emergence of Red Bull's association with Wings for Life, a foundation dedicated to spinal cord injury research, founded by Red Bull team owner Dietrich Mateschitz. The team adopted a special Wings for Life livery at the 2007 British Grand Prix, which featured 50,000 fan portraits appearing on the car as part of the team's charity campaign. In 2008, the team produced the RB4, which now boasted faint pinstripes as part of its livery, originating from the front of the car. The 2008 season once again saw the team devoting its livery to the Wings for Life Foundation, as David Coulthard's car took on a chiefly white design for what was to be his final Grand Prix outing. In 2009, the team produced its first race-winning car in the RB5, which ran with Total Fuels, and was first piloted to victory by Sebastian Vettel at the Chinese Grand Prix. Vettel's victory in China would prove to be the first recorded win for an Austrian-registered entrant in Formula 1 history. Subsidiary brands, such as Red Bull Cola and Red Bull Mobile, were also seen on the 2009 car. The following season would see Red Bull claiming twin championship mantles for the first time, as Sebastian Vettel became the youngest ever World Drivers' Champion in Formula 1 history, piloting the RB6, a car which featured some of the most highly developed aerodynamics ever seen in Formula 1. The 2010 season also signalled the arrival of Pepe Jeans as sponsors, as the Spanish clothing brand took on space upon the front of the car's side pods. The championship victories earned in season 2010 would mark the beginning of a four-year period of dominance for Red Bull Racing. 
In 2011, both team and driver would register back-to-back -back championships with the RB7, once again powered by Renault and now shod with Pirelli rubber. Infinity Motors, a sports car brand produced by Nissan Renault, was first seen in 2011, appearing on the sides of the car's monocoque, as well as the car's nose cone. The team also ran with Siemens, GOX and Casio as additional sponsors. In 2012, the team produced the RB8, which delivered Red Bull its third championship sweep in succession. At the 2012 British Grand Prix, the team once again brought the Wings for Life Foundation to the fore, as it raced with a livery comprised of fan-submitted images. Red Bull would cap off their monumental run of success with a fourth consecutive championship sweep in season 2013. The RB9 now emanated a purple hue as part of its livery, as Infinity Motors became the team's title sponsor and was now seen with more prominence upon the car's side pods and rear wing. The team raced officially as Infinity Red Bull Racing and signed Ty Beer Singer as additional sponsors. The advent of Formula 1's return to turbocharged engines would put an end to Red Bull's spell of dominance as the team fielded the Renault V6-powered RB10 in season 2014, a car which featured a mostly unchanged team livery, with each of Red Bull's trademark motifs on full display. Pre-season testing in 2015 saw the team unveiling a strange and surprising camouflage livery for the all-new RB11, designed to conceal the team's aerodynamical package ahead of the new season. Upon commencement of the season proper, the team returned to their recognised colour scheme, although now with an updated team livery. For the first time the car featured no pinstriping, and replaced its purple hue with a contoured panel, which displayed Infinity branding. Chinese electronics manufacturer Hisense and Russian foreign exchange broker Exnes signed with the team, featuring on the car's nose and cockpit, respectively. In 2016, the team entered a partnership with Swiss watchmakers Tag Heuer, which saw the team rebranding their Renault V6 engines as Tag Heuer power units. Tag Heuer would also feature on the engine case and monocoque of the RB12. Red Bull Racing also entered a technical partnership with Aston Martin, a deal which saw the British luxury sports car manufacturer's logo appearing on the car's nose cone. The team by this stage had reverted back to its traditional team colours, presented now with a matte finish. American communications company AT&T appeared on the sides of the car's rear wing. 2017 saw the team making the switch to mobile fuels for the RB13, which once again ran with Renault Power rebadged as Tag Heuer. 2017 would also see the team signing with Citrix and IBM. Ahead of the 2018 season, Red Bull again graced the test circuit with a special edition livery for the RB14, this time showcasing a blue and black 8-bit inspired motif, which presented the team's sponsors with white lettering. Aston Martin now appeared on the rear wing, joined by Esso and Puma, featuring on the car for the first time. The RB14 will be the final Renault-powered Red Bull car, as Red Bull are set to see the end of their 12-year affiliation with Renault, ready to embark on a fresh partnership with new engine suppliers, Honda, commencing in season 2019. Once seen by the F1 paddock as a fun-loving party team, Red Bull Racing have by now become a very serious competitor in the eyes of its more established rivals. Red Bull Racing is the most successful team of its kind, in that it existed independently, outside of the automotive industry, before crossing into Formula 1 to compete as a constructor. Thanks in major part to the successes of the Red Bull Racing team, the Red Bull energy drink concern has become the most prolific and closely associated sponsor in all of 21st century motorsport, having sponsored everything from MotoGP to the World Rally Championship. Here ends our retrospective on the team liveries of the headstrong Red Bull Racing team.